Hi and welcome back to my channel. I'd like to thank all of you who have subscribed and I'd like to welcome all of you who are new here. Um, I hope you find that this channel meets your needs and entertains you. I think you will find that it will. And I'd like to ask you as well to subscribe. Thank you. Today we're going to be doing a face of, or a partial face of, six new drugstore products. The rest I will fill in with um, products that I have already have in my repertoire and that you may or may not be familiar with. So let's start by introducing those new products. First we have Maybelline Super Lock brow glue it's called it's not called brow gel it's called brow glue next we have the morphe hot shot blush drops and these are extremely pigmented as a matter of fact i did a video with these yesterday and my cheeks came so clownish i didn't recognize it in my own monitor i recognized it when i was editing the video and i had to scrap the video my cheeks looked so clownish it wasn't even funny okay the next is from makeup revolution 5d whip lift mascara um, I think it's from the Mean Girls collection. At least it was housed in that display in Ulta. This is all from Ulta. It's a little Ulta haul. Uh, next we have what is not so new, but what's kind of new, is the Soft Glam Satin Foundation by e.l.f. And I'm in light cool, but I'll mention all the colors and shades as we go through each product while I do the video. Next, we have e.l.f. Duochrome Eyeshadow, which is the new product. And this is in the shade, I'll go through, I'll tell you the shade when we go through it. Um, I think it's Cyber Pink. And next, we have Juvia's Place Volumizing Gloss Stick. And I might as well just tell you the shade now, it's Rose. It's rose. Okay, so we have six new products. The rest of the products to complete the face I'm going to, as I said, fill in with products I already have and we'll go from there. Okay, just to confirm that shade of the duochrome eyeshadow from e.l.f. is cyber pink. Okay, just wanted to, didn't want to steer you wrong. Just wanted to steer you right. Um, let me take a sip of my drink. Now, I usually look terribly red before I get my makeup done, which is why I have to do makeup every day and why, one of the reasons why I love makeup so much. It's so transforming. Um, and with all its different textures and colors and finishes, it's so much fun. But let's get to the first product and as i've mentioned in prior videos i don't know if you've seen them i always do concealer first i like to do concealer first i like to put my uh foundation over my concealer i think it um provides for a more seamless look than doing foundation then concealer that's been my experience so let's get this show on the road. First, we're going with the Hourglass Concealer, and my shade is Silk. And with this, I use a little on the under eye, and then I use the rest of it on my lid as a primer. I do like the MAC Primer paint pot in painterly but this is quicker and in the morning when you're trying to get out the door to work quick is the name of the game quick and good looking is the name of the game you just don't want quick you don't want to just slap it on and look sloppy but if you can do it quick and pretty you're winning Excuse me, my nose is running today, as you may have noticed me using a tissue at the beginning of the video. Let's 
get that. Okay, so now we're going to go into the e.l.f. Soft Glam Satin Foundation and I'm in Light Cool. I bought this online, so I color matched it from a different foundation, and it does seem to be a good color match for me, so I'm not unhappy about it. This is a thicker foundation. As you can see, it doesn't run when you put it on as opposed to some other foundations. Good, bad, or indifferent. Doesn't really matter. It's a medium buildable coverage. Whether it runs or not, it's a medium buildable coverage. Get my foundation brush and let's get rid of that red. Feeling so much better already. Going over the concealer with this brush. That's the foundation. And there have been so many videos dedicated to this foundation that this is not going to be a video dedicated to this foundation. It's got a nice, I don't even think it's satin. I think it's a little more matte than satin. A little satiny, but mostly matte finish. Um, that's about all we're going to say about that. It's got nice coverage to it. It's a solid foundation for $8. You can't go wrong. It's an ounce. Not going to complain about that. Okay, next we're going in with the Makeup by Mario. It's called the Soft Sculpt Bronzing and Sculpting Serum. And I just use a drop of this on a contour brush. Next is the Morphe Hot Shot Blush Drops. And these are so pigmented. As I said before, this is in the shade Fireball. Though this looks a lot more red than this looks. If you can see, this looks a little more pink. Still, you don't want to use a lot of these, and I'm using a sponge for a reason, because a sponge will lift up product. This is a wet sponge. A sponge will lift product and won't deposit as much product, and I definitely want a light hand with this blush, so I'm using a sponge, and I'm going to try to dispense out as little as possible on this hand. Okay. Don't want to make the same mistake that I made yesterday. And I might wind up touching up a little bit. Okay. I think this will do a lot better than yesterday. Okay. Let's see. Yes. A lot better than yesterday. What are we going to use next? Next, we're going to use, we'll do the highlighter last. Not that we really need a highlighter with this kind of eyeshadow. But this is the Duochrome Liquid Eyeshadow from e.l.f. $8 for this tiny little container. That's a good price, $8. Makeup so expensive these days. Even drugstore makeup is getting just way up there in price and this can be used as your applicator you don't need a, a brush and this has got 
a wonderful shift to it, a wonderful pink green shift to it. It's so pretty. I'm hoping it'll go good with the blush. That's pinkish. I don't know if you can see the shift in it. I look probably ridiculous doing this. Let's try a swatch on the hand. Here, here you can see the pink and the green. At least I can. I hope you can. It's so pretty. I had to order this from e.l.f. I couldn't find it in CVS or Walgreens. I think it's so pretty. And it's a one and done. I hate to keep driving home the point, but get me out the door. I got to I got to get to work. Okay. Pretty. Very pretty. Let's do the super lock brow glue. And I used this yesterday and I didn't, I wouldn't call it a brow glue. I'd call it a brow gel and not even that heavy of a brow gel at that. I don't think the hold is that great with this. I can find out how much this was. I think I have the receipt in my Ulta bag. Let's see. No, I don't have the receipt in my Ulta bag. But I think it was about $10. And there's, it gives a white cast to it. If you can see a white cast in my brow, I wonder if that will dry down. Let's give that the opportunity to dry down. Now that my eyeshadow is dry, I'm going to put on my eyeliner, which is the KBD Tattoo Liner. my Rare Beauty in Exhilarate. This is the one that went viral months ago, a year ago. I don't want to use that much. I'm just brushing a little bit on each side because I have that sparkly eyeshadow we'll try the mascara 5d whip lift 5d whip lift from revolution makeup revolution it's easier to open this from the bottom It has a applicator like Better Than Sex, Too Faced, which might be a good thing. I think it's giving me some good lift. Yeah, I think it's giving me some nice lift, some nice volume, some nice length. So far, I'd give it a thumbs up.
Not bad. Not bad. The Juvia's Place Volumizing Gloss Stick in Rose. Rose. If you can see that. I have no lip liner. It's just a gloss, so we're not going to use a lip liner. Although you can, of course, use a lip liner with a gloss. Excuse me. I'm sorry for that. Okay, I rolled it up yesterday. I don't need to roll it up anymore. I missed a little here. This doesn't roll back down, which is annoying. And it has a tingly feel. Since it's volumizing, it has a tingly feel. I'm going to go over this again. After I wiped it off. And this is the final look with our five or six new drugstore products. The Morphe Blush Drops. The Juvia's Place Volumizing Lip Gloss. Lipstick, Volumizing Gloss Stick to be precise. The 5D Whip Lift Mascara from Revolution, Makeup Revolution. The Super Lock from Maybelline. I'm just remembering I forgot to put this primer on. I wanted to use this primer. I've gotten out of the habit of using primer. And what other new products do we have? And the Soft Glam Satin Foundation from e.l.f. And the duochrome liquid eyeshadow also from e.l.f. So that's our look. That's our video. Thanks for tuning in. Hope to see you again soon. And again, if you haven't, please subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.